Hello, our daily reading comes from the book of First Chronicles, chapter 10, as always stated prior to reading. Get to a church that has Sunday school or Bible study where the word can be broken down and shared with you for an easier understanding. Also, get with some friends who break bread and share the word and get some understanding from one another. Uh, get you a Bible that you can read. There are numerous versions from King James to NIV. But most importantly and above all, call upon the Lord. If you knock at his door and seek wisdom, he will open it and fill you up with wisdom. Amen. First Chronicles chapter 10 reads as follows. Now the Philistines fought against Israel. The Israelites fled before them, and many fell dead on Mount Geboa. The Philistines were in hot pursuit of Saul and his sons, and they killed his sons Jonathan, Abendab, and Malkishua. The fighting grew fierce around Saul, and when the archers overtook him, they wounded him. Saul said to his armor bearer, draw your sword and run me through, or these uncircumcised fellows will come and abuse me. But his armor bearer was terrified and would not do it, so Saul took his own sword and fell on it. When the armor bearer saw that Saul was dead, he too fell on his sword and died. So Saul and his three sons died, and all his house died together. When all the Israelites in the valley saw that the army had fled and that Saul and his sons had died, they abandoned their towns and fled, and the Philistines came and occupied them. The next day when the Philistines came to strip the dead, they found Saul and his sons fallen on Mount Geboa. They stripped him and took his head and his armor and sent messengers throughout the land of the Philistines to proclaim the news among their idols and their people. They put his armor in the temple of their gods and hung up his head in the temple of Dagon. When all the inhabitants of Jabesh Gilead heard what the Philistines had done to Saul, all their valiant men went and took their, the bodies of Saul and his sons and brought them to Jabesh. Then they buried their bones under the great tree of Jabesh, and they fasted seven days. Saul died because he was unfaithful to the Lord. He did not keep the word of the Lord and even consulted a medium for guidance and did not inquire of the Lord. So the Lord put him to death and turn the kingdom over to David, son of Jesse. First Chronicles chapter 11. All Israel came together to David at Hebron and said, We are your own flesh and blood. In the past, even while Saul was king, you were the one who led Israel to the military campaigns. And the Lord your God said to you, You will shepherd my people, Israel, and you will become their ruler. When all the elders of Israel had come to King David at Hebron, he made a covenant with them at Hebron before the, the Lord, and they anointed David king of Israel, as the Lord had promised through Samuel. David and all the Israelites marched to Jerusalem, that is, Jebus. The Jebusites who lived there said to David, You will not get in here. Nevertheless, David captured the fortress of Zion, which is the city of David. David has said, Whoever leads the attack of the Jebusites will become commander-in-chief. Joab, son of Zariah, went up first, and so he received the command. David then took up residence in the fortress, and so it was called the city of David. He built up the city around it, from the terraces to the surrounding wall, while Joab restored the rest of the city, and David became more and more powerful because the Lord Almighty was with him. These were the chiefs of David's mighty warriors. They, together with all Israel, gave his kingship strong support to extend it over the whole land as the Lord had promised. This is a list of David's mighty warriors. Jashabim, a Hakamite, was the chief of the officers. He raised his spear against 300 men whom he killed in one encounter. Next to him was Eleazar, son of Dodai, the Ahohite, one of the three mighty warriors. He was with David at Pastamen when the Philistines gathered there for battle. At a place where there was a field full of barley, the troops fled from the Philistines. But they took their stand in the middle of the field. They defended it and stuck and struck the Philistines down, and the Lord brought about a great victory. Three of the thirty chiefs came down to David to the rock at the cave of Adullam, while a band of Philistines was encamped in the valley of Rephem. At the time, David was in the stronghold, and the Philistine garrison was at Bethlehem. David longed for water and said, Oh, that someone would get me a drink of water from the well near the gate of Bethlehem. So the three broke through the Philistine lines, drew water from the, the well near the gate of Bethlehem, and carried it back to David. But he refused to drink it. Instead, he poured it out to the Lord. God forbid that I should do this, he said. Should I drink the blood of these men 
who went at the risk of their lives because they risked their lives to bring it back, David would not drink it. Such were the exploits of the three mighty warriors. Abishai, the brother of Joab, was the chief of the three. He raised his spear against 300 men whom he killed, and so he became as famous as the three. He was doubly honored above the three and became this their commander, even though he was not included among them. Benaiah, son of Joahida, a valiant fighter from Kabzil, performed great exploits. He struck down Moab's two mightiest warriors. He also went down into a pit on a snowy and killed a day and killed a lion. And he struck down an Egyptian who had five cubits tall. Although the Egyptians had a spear like a weaver's rod in his hand, Benaiah went against him with a club. He snatched the spear from the Egyptian's hand and killed him with his own spear. Such were the exploits of Benaiah, son of Jehoiada. He too was, a fa was as famous as the three mighty warriors. He was hailed in great honor than any of the thirty, but he was not included among the three. And David put him in charge of the bodyguard of his bodyguard. The mighty warriors were Ashel, the brother of Joab, Elanon, son of Dodo from Bethlehem, Shemoth, the Herorite, Helez, the Pelonite, Ira, son of Ikish from Tekoa, Abizer from Anathoth, Sebekai from Bushithite, Eli, the Ahite, Mahari, the Nephthalite, Hiled, son of Bana and Nephthalite, Ithai, son of Ribai from Gabeah and Benjamin, Benaiah the Pyrethonite, Harai from the ravines, the ravines of Gosh, Abiel the Arpathite, Asmaveth the Bahuamite, Hilabana the Shahalbanite, the sons of Hashim the Gizanite, Jonathan son of Shagi the Herahite, Ahim son of Sakar the Herahite, Elipal son of Ur, Hefer the Merkirahite. Ahijah the Pelionite, Hezro the Carmelite, Nerai son of Ezbi, Joel the brother of Nathan, Mibhar son of Hagrai, Selic the Ammonite, Nahari the Barathite, the armor bearer of Joab son of Zeriah, Ira the Ithrite, Gareb the Ithrite, Ariah the Hittite, Zabad son of Ahai, Adina son of Sheza, and Reubenite who was a chief of the Reubenites, and the thirty with him, Hanan son of Makkah, Jehoshaphat the Mithanite, Uziah the Ashatirathite, Shammah and Jael the sons of Hotham and the Ararite, Jadiel son of Shemiri, his brother Joah the Tizite, Eli the Mahabite, Jerubai the Josephite, the sons of Elanam, Ithamite the Moabite, Eliel, Obed, and Jaseel the Mezobite. Amen.